Hello YouTube, I'm back. Mm, giggity. And let me just move the mic out away for a minute. And so, what I'm going to show you today is, as you guys know, I did go ahead and I did get me the Bolt Action from Warlord Games. Uh, Warlord Games is Bolt Action's uh, German support group, The Winter. And well. I haven't painted them yet, again, as I promised. I said I wouldn't until I uh, do it on, on, live on Twitch. But I thought, they look sad and lonely on the shelf by themselves. And I happen to have a little bit of spending money burning a little hole in my pocket. So, what I did was I went out and I supported my local game store, which I suggest you do. Okay, guys. Remember... If you shop local, the money stays local, okay? If you shop at a big box store place, like Walmart, Kmart, etc., that money is pff, gone into the void, all right? But if you shop local, you save local. Now, we'll go as a command with that infantry to command. <laughs> so I went out of my way and I got me, sorry for the budge in the camera there, and so I got me the German infantry winter, Remember, guys, we're basing this on a winter campaign. So, Finland, Norway, Iceland, Denmark, Greenland, um, Russia, the uh, Swiss Alps. There's so many places on planet Earth where there is a lot of snow. Utah, for example, a lot of snow. Colorado, a lot of snow. So, Washington, uh, a lot of snow. Canada, a lot of snow. So, it makes sense... And besides, I'm doing this for the mid to late era of the game. Granted, my command, that my, my, my command officer that I've got, he's designed for mid to late. So that's what I'm earmarking for. I'm earmarking for a mid to late uh, German army. I'm not looking for a, an early German army. Okay? Bear in mind, I am not looking for an early German army. In fact, I'm aiming my German army to be based around an actual German uh, 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 Wehrmacht battalion that was in the west, that, that was in the Eastern Front in, in the in the Russia campaigns. So I went ahead and got me the German infantry. Now I did pay a little bit more than what I would on the website. The website wants like twenty four, twenty five. Let me double check that. Uh, I do actually have the Bolt Action website up right this second. So, ha 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 ha. I can actually check this. Bolt Action. Germany. Winter is £29.50. So, in fact, I saved money, guys. By shopping local. I saved money. Maybe only be two pounds fifty, three pounds, okay. But I saved money and I got money into my local gaming store, which means once this pandemic's over, once this 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 COVID thing's dealt with, the Chinese virus, you know, Rona, whatever you want to call it, once the coof is is dealt with, I've got a local store that I've supported and it's still up and running. So Without gilding the lily off more further to do, let's see what's in the box, shall we? What do you get for your £27? Well, I'm going to be very careful using a Stanley blade. This is why you should always keep a dull Stanley blade around, just for opening up boxes. Now, as you can see, I'm not joking, I've literally just recently purchased these. Okay. So, sorry for whacking the camera again. But I just recently purchase these guys I just removed the cellophane okay so we're gonna open up the box now inside is your sheet with a list of the sprue contents now this is something I like this is something that I know games workshop is not going to ever do and I know you guys are thinking wait it's just a sprue sheet yeah to you it is just a sprue sheet but to the game system, swapping out the right or wrong weapon completely changes how the unit works. Again, if it's an early, mid, or late unit, 
they'll only be specifically tailored for that but this is just basic german infantry for the winter campaign okay and so they were in the war from the start to the end so bolt action and i love you guys for this thank you so much bolt action they've decided to give you this which is a little cheat sheet of who and what the gear is because this gear during a tournament play and i do plan on probably going into a few games playing you know playing a tournament or two this determines whether or not your unit is valid for the era of the campaign that you're playing now i'm sorry that is freaking awesome i i would love to see someone like gw do something similar to this I really would. And you guys know, I play 40k. I'm a, I'm a Chaos player. I play Nurgle. I play Korn. I play Slanesh. I don't play Zench. But I do play I, I do play the game system. I do play. And I genuinely feel that if 40k started adding things like this into their box sets, their starter sets, it would allow people to pretty much learn to play the game i'm sorry but it would it it, it, it literally would allow pe people and players who are new to your game learn about the game without having to pay you know x amount of, of, of hundreds of dollars you know that you know to buy the rule book then to buy a whole bunch of other things and for some reason that was weird. My overhead camera stopped working for a second. Give me a second, guys. Technical difficulty. Okay. That was weird. There we go, we're back. And so it would allow new players to learn how to play your game. Now, this, this is what I like, guys. I'm sorry, as a gamer and a hobbyist, this is awesome. Okay, this, this is like really freaking cool awesome it really is because it lets do you see it's showing you what you can do okay that aside you've also got their standard bases so that's their, their standardized bases which I do like they're not textured which is kind of cool Thank you, GW, for, you know, possibly starting to not do textured bases. Just saying. And the reason why I like the non-textured bases is because it allows you to do whatever you want with the bases. I.e., if it's already pre-textured, then what's the point of having textured paints? You can't, you're layering texture on top of texture, and it's just going to come out horrible. So you've got the 30 bases, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We've got 30 bases, enough to make 30 infantry for £27. How much is it for 30 infantry, 30 space marines, for example, in 40k? I'll wait. How much is it for 30 imperial guardsmen? I'll wait. starting to see the reason why i picked bolt action i still play 40k do not get me wrong and i i only pick up the units i need i want or i want to paint okay bear in mind the units i want to paint i no longer play 40k i still have the codexes i still i still keep up to date however 
I've chosen to step back from playing 40k. Because it's just gotten too... They, they got away from the KISS system when they tried to reboot Warhammer Fantasy into whatever it is now. But anyway, um, let's take a look at what we get. Oh, check these out. Look at all the head selections, guys. That is freaking awesome. That is a lot of heads. Different hats. Different everything. Check out the coats. Oh, they're beautiful. They are... Beautifully designed. Sculpted. Whoever did the sculpts for some of these, my hat's off to you, man. You you went through a lot of resources. A lot of vector models for the guns, like the Sturmgewehr uh, 44 here, the Car 43 there, uh, the Gewehr 43 there, Panzerschrattfaust there. Oh, pouches. Even the pouches look good. Even the freaking pouches look good. They don't just look like a, a, a square block of grey plastic with minor cuts into them. They actually look like individual freaking pouches. They've even got a, a hand, a commandant's hand with a pistol. And it, it looks like it is a... Luger 38? Looks like a 38. I don't have my glasses on. But. Just just look. They've even got MG42s. MP40s. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. See this is what I'm talking about. Because even when you're. you're you know. Like, like you're not going to use that stone gear. It's not going to go to waste. That. A couple of the storage bag in storage bags and whatnot, maybe a canteen or a few other things you could turn into terrain. Easy. Put it on the side of a tank. It's to scale. It is to scale. The 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 the, the possibilities are endless, and you get five of these lovely sprues. Five, five heavy weapons, five Panzer strikes. Sturmgewehrs, MP40s, Gewehr 43s. You get so many cool minis for the money. And then, then you get unified unit markers. Look how tiny these are. These are 156th scale, 28mm water slide decals for the helmets. Look at the, look at the, the quality. For de decals, decals. And yet 40, Warhammer wants to sell you de decal sheets separately now. Why? It, 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 it baffles me. But... For the money, I'm, I'm just speechless. For the money. For £27 UK, not... not you know, anywhere else, for, for £27, you get a lot of plastic for your money. I mean, I can't even put the bases back in this box. Okay? You get a lot of plastic for your money. But, here is a pierre de resistance. What good is infantry without armour? <laughs> Yes, I did splash out and I even bought myself a Marder freaking 3. 
Why? It was used in the Eastern Front. The German battalion in question did use Marder 3s. That I am going to be emulating. Now, again, as you can see, 20 pounds British. I think it's, I think it's about the same on on the website, if not. But I know I've already saved money on the infantry. So you know what? Yeah, let's see if I have actually saved money on the armor. Hetzer is the sh Hetzer Stug is 50. A Stug is twenty five pounds. Panzer thirty eight is fifty. Ah, oh, there's the Zugs. It's all. It's three, three, three tanks. It's a platoon. They don't even list my tank on the website. So I, 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 I think it's safe to say that I actually got a good deal. And you know what? Again, I'm supporting my local game store, so I don't really care. So, oh, we got we we got to look at it. We got to put a box and make it. I mean, the, the box art alone is beautiful. That's the one thing that attracted me to bolt action, is the box art reminds me very similar of a comic brand that I used to what I used to record Action Comics. Um, not to be confused with with, with DC Comics. Um, Action Comics or Commando Comics or, you know, they were a comic book line that was set in World War II, Vietnam, Combat Comics. They, they came in so many different names. But the art always stood out to me because my dad would read them while on the toilet and he'd have a stack of them by the side of the toilet. And I would spend hours, literally at one point, I think it was like two hours once on the toilet. And I was just reading the comics. I forgot I was, why I was even in there. You know, and I remember, and when I see the art on the boxes, it reminds me of that. It reminds me uh, of those comics, of those books. They might even be the same artist. They might. Um, of course, you get your fire damage and your smoke uh, abilities, because again, some tanks have smoke launchers. These are physically represented in the game. Hello, Games Workshop. And of course, you get the paint guide. Nice pictures, glossy, glossy paper. You know, you can tell that they're actual digital images of the actual model itself. You know, number produced, Marder, 3 Offs H, 275 were produced, 175 converted from Panzer 38Ts, uh, crew, 4. Tells you the engine, its top speed, its range, its armament, the armor, its tonnage. Brief history about it. Ugh. And then, like before, you get a parts guide and a, a and a decal sheet. I believe the decal sheet is still in the box. I think it's still in the box. Let me double check. Yeah. No, oh, it's not in the box. Is it in the bag? Oh! Wait, wait, wait. It is in the box. <laughs> I'm blind. There we go. A little decal sheet. See? Another thing I like. If there's any problems with your order, like, like the tank you've purchased or whatever, they tell you who put the box together so that when you contact them you can say Mirala um, you know fucking nice one war warlord fucking nice one that's what I'm talking about that right there has made me a customer damn near probably for life that shit right there. That attention to detail. You do not get that. 
with a lot of game systems. This shows that they care. And then you get the stat card. Of course, for a quick, quick reference, so you don't have to lug the huge book around and the decal sheet, of course. Uh, unfortunately, my tank company is not listed on these decal sheets, but now I've got the decal sheet, it also tells me the scale. I can actually um, contact a company, uh, ironically in Poland, um, who make actual historical accurate decals and have them make me the decals that I need. So, thank ya. But that, that Mirilla, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's get back. And of course it gives you a parts list. And a how to build. These pages, pages are thick. These are thumbs. I, I, I'm sitting there going, do, do I have pages stuck together? No, the paper's just that thick. Good lord. These are like an instruction manual. And I don't mean it like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I mean like a Haynes, this is how you build a car instruction manual. Look at that. Nice detail on the track linkage. Upper glacis, lower glacis, upper plate, bolt mantlet, gun guard, rear engine exhaust cover, side skirt, bolt on plate. Nice. Gun construction. Very nice. Anti roll bar. This is a very well thought out manual. Whoever designed this manual, thank you. From a model builder's perspective, okay, and just a fan in general of, of, of technical manuals, thank you. Whoever put this manual together clearly knew what they were doing. A little more brief history with a picture Panzer 38T Soviet Union June 1941 photo from a German Federal Archives nice model 3 was designed based on the Czech built LT VS 38 light tank after taking over Czechoslovakia this pre-world war 2 creation was included in the German army and renamed the Panzerkampfwagen 38T. It saw service in invasion of Poland, France, the USSR through the production was halted in 1942 due to inadequate armament. The chassis of the Panzer 38T continued to be produced for the Marder III, with some of its components used late in the later Jag Panzer 38 tank destroyer and its derivative vehicles. C. Nice Yamaha rack. What it would look like once it's put together like that. Oh, there's so much detail to go into this model. Nice engine exhaust, hooks, tow hooks, marker lights, front tow hooks, headlight, front machine gun port, stowage, And in the crew assembly, this is very similar um, to the paint scheme I'm going with, which is a winter camo. But yeah, this is whew. this was a very well thought, thought out um, instruction booklet. Now let's take a look at the actual tank itself, and another thing. This look, look, reusable bags. We'll take a look at the the crew, and we'll scale is on at is on point. Scale is on point. I'm looking for any dimples in the mold. There's a few textual dimpled but they can easily be fixed with with modeling putty this is going to be a beautiful tank model 
when it's put together. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. In fact, I have some 172 scale British World War II tanks that I think this might be on par with. But anyway, guys, um, twenty pounds for the tank, twenty-seven pounds for the infantry, forty-seven pounds total, twenty pounds for the command. So we're at sixty-seven pounds, and I feel like I've got my money's worth. Absolutely. Um, I look forward to painting and building these models live on Twitch. Again, Twitch channel description will be in. The video description down below again guys thank you all for the love you show me on the last video um if you're new around here please hit the subscribe button it's just under there it's free it doesn't cost you a penny if you are a reoccurring subscriber thank you for sticking with me i apologize for the hiatus i have been suffering from a lot of health issues that has been preventing me from making youtube content and well Give the video a like if you liked it, a dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment in the comment section down below if you have any queries or questions, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Until then, guys, yeah, take care, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Keep your shells flying, keep your enemies dying. Peace.